Chi Minh City, the last leg of our Vietnam trip. We've been away in Vietnam for about almost a month, starting from Hanoi, and now we've ended our trip at Ho Chi Minh City. In this one month, we went to Hanoi, we went to Da Nang, we went to Dong Hoi, Na Trang, Hoi An, and Ho Chi Minh. Hey, I'm Fran, and together with my husband John, we're the corporate breakout couple. And in this video, we'll share with you the cost of living in Vietnam as a tourist. How much does a data plan in Vietnam cost for one month? What about food? Transportation? What about accommodation? Where do we stay? We'll also cover sightseeing tours in Vietnam and our costs as we travel by trains to the different cities in Vietnam. Getting connected to the world is so important these days. Therefore, when you reach the airport, you are able to get a mobile phone plan for one month at only 220,000 dong. As we were staying in Vietnam for one month and across six cities, we had to find different types of accommodation. For example, in Hanoi, we were in an Airbnb. This Airbnb came with laundry services and it suited our needs perfectly as we were in Hanoi for two weeks. For the other four cities in the middle of our trip, we opted for hotels as we weren't staying that long as compared to Hanoi. Each hotel stay was around two to three nights max at the most. All the hotels that we selected are mainly four to five stars and locations very important. We selected them based on the attractions as well as close by to the city center. All hotels selected were very comfortable, clean and surpassed our expectations. All hotel rooms selected came with amazing views that each city was famous for. Here's a breakdown of the accommodation for our stay in Vietnam for one month. You can see that we spent half of our stay in Hanoi in our Airbnb for 13 nights, after which we started taking the train to go down south to the five other cities. And we spent a total of three nights on the sleeper trains. For our awesome stays in Vietnam, in Airbnbs, hotels and resorts, the price ranges between 40 USD to 55 per night. And for a total of 24 nights, excluding the sleeper trains, the total bill works out to be 1,178 USD. We had a really fun time taking trains from city to city, starting from Hanoi all the way to Ho Chi Minh City. Taking trains is really a unique way to travel and to really see the beauty of Vietnam. All of our train rides, we opted to take the sleeper train so that when we arrive to the next city, we are all refreshed and charged up. How we got around in each city was via Grab. Grab was readily available and very accessible with lots of drivers around. In Hanoi, however, we walked mainly because we lived near Old Quarter and everything was nearby. The only exception was in Hoi An because Grab isn't available in the ancient city, therefore we took a lot of local taxis. Here's the cost breakdown for all our transport in Vietnam, including four train rides, including Grab, within the cities, taxis and hotel transfers. Do note that we spend a lot of time in Hanoi and we walk most of the time, so that's free. The total cost for transport is 685 USD. Both John and I are foodies, especially me, and our aim and intention of going to Vietnam is to scour around to look for fantastic foods in the different cities and taste the specialties. This has got to be one of the best pan mi I've ever eaten in Vietnam, not just Hanoi. And this fantastic plate of pan mi costs only 25,000 dong. Bun cha is a specialty of Hanoi and you must not miss it. It is a dish of rice noodles, grilled pork, crab meat spring roll and an assortment of vegetables. This entire dish will feed two. This meal was had in a nice hotel in downtown of Hanoi and it was one of the most expensive meals that we had on this trip. They served fantastic local Vietnamese cuisine with a twist and they had really great presentation as well. For an uber delicious lunch with a couple of beers, it works out to be 1,101,870 dong. So how much does McDonald's cost here in Hanoi? Let's find out. So a medium Big Mac meal will cost you 99,000 dong. 
Hey guys, so I'm at McDonald's. So you know, after several days of eating uh, local Vietnamese food, we just felt like having a burger. So we stumbled upon this McDonald's. It's really nice. It's just across the lake. And you know what I realized? I realized that Hanoi didn't have a McDonald's until December 2nd, 2017, where it had its first McDonald's outlet. And you know, Travelling really opens up your eyes, right? Because McDonald's is everywhere uh, whenever I travel. It's uh, readily available in Malaysia. There's, they've got so many outlets in Singapore. And I still remember my first McDonald's I had was in 1987 in Penang. And you know, it's uh, 2023 now and McDonald's just opened in Hanoi in 2017. That was just what, five, six years ago? So it's quite amazing, isn't it? This is a shop that sells fried rice with different assortment of proteins. Ours was a roasted pork fried rice and it came to 55,000 dong. Pizza for Peace is a local farm-to-table Italian restaurant that has multiple chains in Vietnam. The food is excellent. They are very famous for their crab pasta and their four cheese pizza. This meal for two, which consists of pizza, pasta, appetizers, and drinks, costs 854,700 dong. Donghua is a seaside town, therefore it serves fantastic seafood. A seafood dinner for two that comprises of oysters, clams, grilled fish, and a few beers is at 720,000 dong. Danang is also another seaside town and they are well known for its seafood, especially their lobster. We had lobster with cheese, grilled prawns and oysters once again. And the total bill works out to be 1.5 million and 21,000. In each city that we go, we like to try different varieties of their specialty dishes. This is Mi Guang and this is a specialty of Danang. And this specialty noodle called Khao Lao can only be found in Hoi An because of the special well water in which they use to make their noodles. Wow, this is my favorite restaurant in Hoi An called Morning Glory. Every single dish that we had there was just delicious. For me, the star was the prawn curry. Oh my, it was so, so fragrant and it hits the four senses, bitter, sour, sweet and salty. We happily paid 634,000 dong for four dishes and two drinks. In Natrang, we specially hunted for yummy local joints for our lunches and our dinners. This is because the area that we stayed is right by the beach, so it's very touristy. So we opted to hunt for very local joints, which also had local prices. Natrang is not as easily googleable as Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh, so some of the spots did not have Google Maps attached to it, like this place. This specialty duck restaurant only has farmed ducks which feeds on seafood. Therefore, the meat is very tender and tasty with very little fat. And you won't believe, half a duck with rice and other dishes only costs 185,000 dong. Ho Chi Minh was the last stop of our one-month trip, so by then we were craving some Japanese food. So we went to Sushi Tei and we kind of went overboard by ordering too much, but boy, it was so worth it. The total bill came up to 972,500 dong. For our final night in Vietnam, we went to this quaint little French casual dining place and we had a feast. And the total bill for this delicious dinner is 920,000 dong. Welcome to Kong Cha. So this is one of my favorite drinks, a strawberry milk tea with a pearl. So, so yummy. So in Hanoi, it's 60,000 dong. So the drinks here ranges around 60,000 to 80,000 dong. Mishie is a tea and ice cream chain from China and it's very popular here in Vietnam, in Hanoi. So you can also find these chains in Singapore and Malaysia as well. Let's take a look at the prices. So for ice cream, it costs 10,000 dong and for a regular milk tea with pearls, it's around 25,000 dong. Hey, I found a Hagen Das! Woohoo! My favorite ice cream shop. Let's go and see how much one single scoop of ice cream costs in dong. So 
So a single scoop is 85,000 dong and two scoops will be 160,000 dong. Highlands Coffee is a popular Vietnamese chain that was established in 1999 and the coffee is really awesome. They've got numerous outlets all across Vietnam and Hanoi. A medium-sized iced milk coffee costs 45,000 dong. Kong Cafe is another popular brand of coffee chain in Vietnam. You have it a lot in Hanoi. We saw some in Hoi An and now we are in Ho Chi Minh. Let's go check out the prices here. This is a cup of hot coffee with milk and we upsize it to medium and John's is a ice white coffee, also medium size and both coffees are at 82,000 dong. We've been in Vietnam for about a month now and I'm in Ho Chi Minh drinking a cup of coffee. Now let me recap, we started from Hanoi, then we took the train down to Dong Hoi, we went to Da Nang, Hoi An, Na Chuang and now we're back in Ho Chi Minh. We find that both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh are pretty similar in terms of cost because they are both big cities with a high concentration of tourists and locals alike. When you head down to Dong Hoi, you'll see that Dong Hoi is relatively cheaper because it is a small little seaside town. But give it three to four years more and you'll see that Dong Hoi will be there into a resort-like place. There's lots of development going on. Da Nang is also another seaside town but it's bigger and there's a higher concentration of tourists. So of course, if you eat in the touristy areas, you'll be paying tourist prices. Hoi An is the ancient city of Vietnam, so it's a very quaint, very picturesque uh, little town. So lots of tourists flock there. So you will also be paying tourist prices, especially in the old town, right? And when you go to Hoi An, don't be surprised to see a lot of Koreans there. Lots of Koreans do the businesses there as well. Na Chuang is a beautiful seaside town. Now it's not as well known as Da Nang. However, this town is actually very well developed with shopping malls and hotels all over the place. Of course, you'll be paying tourist prices when you go and eat around the touristy spots especially by the beach but John and I we managed to find really good local spots and we paid local prices for them. So Circle K which is behind me is like a convenience store that's where you can get your ice cream your snacks and a little bit of uh, like shampoo and stuff like that. So a 500 ml bottle of water is 7,000 dong. A can of Coke Zero is 14,000 dong. And a bag of classic lace is 35,000 dong. Yo, check it out! Black pink in the house! Oreos! Woohoo! So the ranges is from 20,000 to 27,000 dong. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. And it comes at a price of 15,000 dong. A Cornetto comb is at 20,000 dong. We are in a local mart and you've got fresh fruits, we've got some oils um, and sauces and behind me you've got all the snacks as well. So this is a, I would say, it's not really like a 7-Eleven but it's more like a, a local convenience store. A bunch of bananas costs 27,900 dong. The oranges are at 59,900 dong per kilo. One litre of soya bean oil is at 61,000 dong. So a bag of 3 kg rice is at 119,900 dong. A box of Danish cookies is at 139,500 dong. A loaf of white bread costs 20,900 dong. I'm currently in a Ho Chi Minh convenience store and the prices here are very similar to Hanoi's as both are also big cities. In this one month, we went on several attractions across Vietnam and I'm going to break down the cost for you here. The first attraction is a Ninh Bin full day trip. It is one and a half hours away from Hanoi. It's a full day trip which includes limousine bus pick up and drop off at the end of the day and a lunch included in the whole tour. The total cost for this tour is USD $50 per person. We booked this tour on Viator and honestly we enjoyed ourselves so much. This is a highly rave about tour and not to be missed if you're in Hanoi. 
Also in Hanoi, we did a hop on hop off city tour which took us around the old quarter and around the lakes. Total price is USD $6 per person. We spent a lovely day up at Bana Hills in Danang and our tickets from the cable car all the way up to Bana Hills itself was booked by the hotel concierge at our lovely hotel. The tickets were 1.5 million dong per pax and that includes a buffet lunch, the cable car tickets up and down and also the attractions at Bana Hills which includes like the roller coaster and all the other amusement park rides. The price of the ticket also includes a pickup and drop off transfer from your hotel to the foot of Bana Hills. However, good news, there are also a lot of free attractions in Vietnam. Like for example, this fire show at the Dragon Bridge in Da Nang. It only happens on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays at 9 pm, so don't be late. In Hoi An, evening walks are such a magical time because you can take a leisurely stroll along the river to soak in the lights and the atmosphere and just the cultural vibes. In Hoi An, some of the hotels will loan you a bicycle for free and you can take that to cycle along the villages and the paddy fields and along the river as well. It's such a serene and beautiful experience. When in Hoi An, you cannot miss a boat ride to the coconut forest because it's such an amazing experience. A two hour boat ride will cost you 250,000 dong for a boat, a boatman and for two packs. Vietnam is surrounded by many bodies of water. You've got the lakes, you've got the rivers, you've got sea, beaches, and more lakes as well. So, strolling down the river, going for a walk, going for a stroll at the beach, they're all free. Hey, look at what I found. It's Charles and Keith from Singapore. Let's check out the prices in Vietnamese Dong. So this cute little bag costs 1.55 million dong. So a pair of pumps, a pointy ones, are at 1.59 million dong. This tiny little bag, which is no larger than my hand, is 1.05 million dong. So the beauty and wellness industry in Vietnam is huge, and you've got spa. Uh, places everywhere in Vietnam and so this is in Hanoi so for facial you've got uh, a one hour facial for 350,000 dong and we've got a um, body massage for Swedish therapy is 280,000 dong for one hour and then you've got your foot scrubbing and relaxation at 420,000 dong for 75 minutes So if you want to get a manicure in Hanoi, it's 180,000 dong and a pedicure costs the same, 180,000 dong as well. As Fran and I are travelling extensively, going to the gym is a very intentional planned activity for us. So this is very important for us to remain healthy and strong while we go on our travels. The cost of a daily pass at a gym in Hanoi like this will cost 50,000 dong and a weekly pass will cost 200,000 dong. Here's the consolidated expenses for one month in Vietnam for two people. This excludes flight and travel insurance costs that differs from country to country and where you travel from. This cost breakdown includes accommodation, transport, food, groceries, attractions and others, which are all relatable categories for tourists in a country. We covered accommodation and transport early on, let's talk about food. Now, friend and I are foodies, we love to travel for food and food experience remains as one of our top spend and priority in our travels. Which is why we love to hunt for local food at local joints and also enjoy local prices. But of course, based on the places that we stay and the transportation needed, sometimes we do pay for touristy prices for local food. And we do indulge in a few more expensive meals here and there to satisfy our taste buds. Under the food category, we spend a lot on coffee as well, pretty much one to two times a day. We also spend on ice cream and some alcoholic drinks like beers and red wine. We didn't cook at all for the entire Vietnam trip, 
So for groceries, we didn't spend much at all. It's mostly on water and snacks. Attractions were covered earlier on. We spent a total of 250 USD for two. And under others, which is pretty much everything else from the SIM card to the gym to doing some laundry services and buying souvenirs like coffee, tea, dried goods. And this doesn't include any shopping. We didn't spend on any clothes at all. The total was 93 USD. And the total expense that excludes flight and travel insurance is 3,194 USD. Okay, okay, okay. We'll share with you our flight and travel insurance as well. We flew from Singapore, taking the Singapore Airlines from Singapore to Hanoi. Of course, we then take the train all the way down to Ho Chi Minh, after which we flew back from Ho Chi Minh to Singapore. The total cost for the two Singapore Airlines flight is 355 USD for two, and the travel insurance for two for 28 days is 82 USD. That brings an additional total of 437 USD. You can add these two amounts to the earlier one to see what's our final budget. We are now at the Ho Chi Minh International Airport flying back to Singapore. And this concludes our one month in Vietnam. We hope that this video has provided you good value and insight to the cost over here in Vietnam. Do like and subscribe to our channel as we appreciate it very much. See you soon.